Hello, Chaos Ninjas. Since that's the new name of um, my fan base. And today's subject is... It's going to be another rant. Uh, well, not a rant on, but a rant against something. Something, something, something. But anyways, let's get started. Alright, the new Joker with tattoos. Now, you're probably thinking, wait, you're going to talk about the Joker wearing tattoos? But Devin, he's not going to wear no tattoos in the final design. Nope, you guys are all wrong. You guys are going to you guys are, you guys are dead wrong. Uh oh. You guys are dead wrong. No, I'm going to make a rant against people who go against movie adaptation, um, uh, movie adaptation, um, yeah, movie, movie adapt, you know, movie adapt, movie adaptation versions of characters, because, okay, you give Jared Leto, whether he has tat, whether he has the tattoos or no tattoos, I got a good question to you guys, I got a good question, why should it matter? Why should it matter? I mean, because you did this when Ben Affleck was gonna play Batman. You like, yeah, we have to know Ben Affleck. And then when you see that trailer, and then when you see that trailer, you know what Ben Affleck did to you? He made you guys shut the fuck up. That's what he did. He made you guys shut the fuck up. And it's the same thing with Heath Ledger. Oh, Heath Ledger cannot play a Joker. No, no, no. But then he, you know what? He made you shut. He made you shut the fuck up. He, you know, he played a, uh, he played the best Joker. You see where I'm getting with this? You guys talk so much shit about uh, Jared Leto being the Joker because the tattoos, which by the way, the tattoos are gone now. So we're not gonna, even, we're not gonna even bring that out. We're not gonna even bring, we're not gonna even bring the tattoos out. <coughs> You know, uh, you watch what happens. You wait till Suicide Squad comes out on theater. You know what? You guys are gonna look so stupid. You guys are gonna look so dumb. It's gonna be so funny. You know, you guys are gonna look so stupid talking so much shit on uh, Jared Leto because he's gonna. He's, I'm not gonna say he's gonna be better than um, Heath Ledger. I'm not gonna say that at all because. I don't think anyone could do better than Heath, Heath Ledger. I think Jack Nicholson's close to it. But, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna say, you know, that, um... That Jared Leto's gonna be better, but I'm just gonna watch, watch what's gonna happen when Suicide Squad comes out in the theater, dude. You guys are gonna be eating your words, dude. You guys gonna be eating your words, you know? You guys are gonna be eating your words. You guys are gonna be eating your words. You'll see. You guys are gonna be eating your words so badly. But it's just this has always been a topic that annoyed me because, okay, they did that when Taylor Kish was Gambit, but he played a good Gambit. And look what happened. You know? When he played a good game, you know? And then, you know... Not only that, not only with Jared Leto, but it's just like almost with everything. Like when Scarlett Johansson is going to be playing, uh, this is not a comic book movie right here, Ghost in the Shell, Scarlett Johansson is going to play Motoko Kusanagi, and then watch, when this ends up being good, you watch when this ends up being really good, you guys are going to say, well, you know what, we was wrong, you know, because I never understood that, I never get why, um, why people bash up on these actors. When you haven't seen them. Now, it'd be different if you did see them. I'm not going to lie to myself. I, I, like the, I like the Christopher Nolan Batman series, but I'm going to be very honest. Christopher Bell wasn't the best Batman. 
Because, you know, to me, he sounded like he had throat cancer. You know, it wasn't, you know. The Batman I like to see, really, is like with the, an the Batman and the Animated Series. You know, that type of Batman where he's all, you know, chill and stuff. Because Batman was more chill than he was all death metal. Like, you could actually make a song off of Christian Bale's Batman. Just put, just put some guitars and drums in the background, and it would make a good death metal song. But, but nonetheless, you know, that's just my opinion on that. So, you know, but point is... I think I'm gonna give Jared Leto a chance, and I think my followers and subscribers should give Jared Leto a chance because, you know, and no, it's not because I'm whore myself out to him. I will admit, yes, I did. Well, I do listen sometimes 30 Seconds to Mars. I do like some of his movies. I'm not gonna lie to myself. I like some of his, you know, I like some of his stuff. You know, I I really do like his, some of his stuff, but you know. But you guys that say this, you guys are gonna be eating your words when he do when they do. You guys are gonna be eating your words, you know. And yeah, FYI to people who don't know, the tattoos are gone. You guys got what you wanted. Your tattoos are gone. Even though I would have personally would love to see the tattoo Joker, just to see fanboys getting mad. I'm not going to lie, I'm a Marvel and DC fanboy, but, you know, it's like, I also believe in artistic, you know, freedom. Not only artistic freedom, but, you know, hey, if they want to turn something, um, turn, if they want to turn something new, I would turn something iconic into something new, but make it still iconic. As long as they keep... See, this is the thing. For my Joker, as long as they keep the, the hair green, the suit purple, and make him laugh and act, you know, act, act like he does the comics all crazy and laughs about everything he does, hey, I'm fine. Same, but, uh, same thing with Batman. As long as Batman's built... Bulk, with bulk, and he, you know, he has his outfit on, and he acts like the Batman... You know, which I think Ben Affleck's gonna pull, dump, um, bomb this out. In fact, you know what's funny? When people watch the trailer, people start to realize that um, Ben Affleck's Batman goes harder. That Ben Affleck's Batman goes harder than even Christian Bale's Batman. You know, so, <laughs> yeah. Man, that stroke's hard. Ooh, I ran into that. But I think, honestly, uh, you can leave your comments below, but I don't see, I'm for, um, Jared Leto, Jared Leto, Jared Leto to play, um, the Joker and the Suicide Squad. Watch him dominate this role. Watch him dominate. I think this look on him is a new ba is a badassery look. But he watch him watch him bomb everything, man. In this you know in this new movie, you know what I mean like bombing like you know and like how good he does in his acting. Cause like I said, I think the um, I honestly think that. Um, yeah, and Ben Affleck as Batman I see in the trailer. I think that 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 shit go hard, dude. Batman look goes hard in the Batman versus Superman, and I think to be honest, with Jared, oh, Jared Leto t tattoo Joker, it would have been more badass. I'm not gonna lie, you know, it's, I think it would have been more badass in my opinion. But they're gonna remove the tattoo, so you do get what you wanted. So I gotta question the fanboys. Why are you? So so why so why so serious? Sorry, I can't really do a good Dark Knight Joker. I'm gonna admit that right now. But seriously, guys, why so serious? Why so serious? Why? Why already when he, you know Jared Leto's gonna remove the tattoos? You're still getting. 
pissed, you know, pissed off and get about Jared Leto playing the Joker. I still don't get it. Why so serious, dude? Why? Why even go that route? Why even get so mad? You know, and again, I'm going to leave the comments open. I'm not going to remove the comments or rating system, so... I want you to see, I, I mean, I want you to, um, you know, comment on, on your thoughts about Jared Leto being the Joker. That's all I want you to do is comment your thoughts of, of Jared Leto being the Joker. Do you like it or not? And I'm not going to say anything if you don't like him or all, but I just, per this video is just to say, well, I personally don't care at this point. I don't care who they cast to, to play who and stuff. I think Joker and Suicide Squad is going to be great. I think Ben Affleck's Batman is going to be great in Batman vs. Superman. I think Scarlett Johansson is going to make a good Motoko Kusanagi. And, you know, just leave your comments. No, no judgment at all. Just leave your comments and tell me why he or she shouldn't play their roles and stuff. And I'm signing.